Do you know how many arrows that fly every night? But God makes sure no one touch you. We have not had any casualty in this church. We have not had any casualty. The mighty hand of God has been good to us. And that's why with all sincerity, lift up your voice and say, Father, for all of your goodness, all of your wonders, all of your blessings, all of your kindness, lift up your voice and celebrate this good God. God is a good God. God is a good God. For all of your goodness, Upon Living Faith Church, Refeed, upon the winner's family, I've come to say thank you. I've come to give you glory and praise. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, they will have swallowed us up quick. But the Lord has been faithful. It is written, the snare is broken. And we are escaped. Malero shikutales. En susa lepra itola. Yekote predi isusa nendredish. Zenonta belerush. Rekleperia dus kavalash. Yekateriado shekutariadas Nado nuse tute shekukalita Reto prekleki kutarish Zanta prali reklopera du shata Rekatori andelerush Nezenekoto rekopariata My father I thank you My father I thank you Mekaturush eparata Yekupreliya tute. We give glory to you God of exemption Thank you Father In Jesus name We have prayed if you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. Yeah. This service, you will be exempted all round. Yeah. From every works of wickedness, you will be exempted. Yeah. From every programming of hell, you will be exempted. Yeah. Wherever they have marked you and your family out, I decree your name will be withdrawn and that person's name will be replaced. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you are saying amen, make it louder. Any power sponsoring tears for you, their arrow will go back today. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Congratulations, please get seated. God bless you. Jesus. Calling on the name of the Lord is the gateway to our exemption, to our deliverance, to our intervention, to our rescue. Proverbs 18 and verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous 
run it into it and he said the righteous not everybody calls the name and it works it's not everybody that is licensed to use the name But for you, a covenant child, the name is your mantle for exemption. Every time the name is mentioned, the gate of safety is open. Scripture says, He that calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Not every name has power and authority. Some names have power, but their power is limited. Some names have power, but their power is timed. It expires. Have you heard of ex-governor? Ex-senator? Ex-House of Assembly Honorable? Have you heard? Which means when their tenure expires, their immunity expires. And that's why before their immunity expires, they will make sure that everything is locked up. Are you getting it now? But there is a name whose immunity does not expire. And that's the one every one of us needs. name is not limited in power, is not limited in authority. It's a transgenerational name. It's still as potent even as the time of his birth, the name of Jesus. No power can say no to the name in heaven, on earth, beneath the earth. So an understanding of that name enables you to exempt yourself from every plan of hell, from every programming of wickedness. An understanding of that name permits you to puncture the arrangements of the wicked. There is something in the name. What is in the name? Number one, the name symbolizes identity. Say with me, identity. identity. Every one of us here has an identity in the realm of the spirit. By his identity, his name symbolizes Savior. And a Savior is a Savior. Are you what I'm saying now? Both in the physical and in the spiritual. Even in some cases, so I've heard some people say that hey, I called the name in the dream and I was delivered. So when you have an understanding of his identity, you have rights to determine events here on earth. You have power to judge on his behalf. That's why he said, in my name, you shall cast out devils. In my name, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. You don't tell God what to do. 
He says, speak and I will confirm. We don't beg for things to happen. We command things to happen. By an understanding of the name which you bear, you rule in life. Life does not rule you. Life does not subject you to what it wants. You use the name to conform it to what you see, desire to see. The name. So a revelation of the identity of the name of Jesus is the foundation for our exemption. When men are saying there is a casting down, thou shall say. So the name is a lifter. He that calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Sickness casts people down. Depression casts people down. Affliction level people on the floor. But the name is a lifter. He that calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But scripture says they know not. Neither will they understand. He said, all the foundation of the earth are gone out of course. I have said, ye are gods. Only gods are entitled to carry the name. Did you get me? Only gods are entitled to carry the name. If you call them gods, you are a god. By revelation and understanding, you are a god. You are not just a human being. You decide what happens here. So the name gives you an identity. The name also establishes his status. That's why he's called Jesus Christ, the anointed one. That anointed one means the staff of power, the staff of authority. It has never failed before. That name, that name Christ symbolizes the staff of his ability, what he's able to do. So every time we engage that name, something obviously must happen. So you are not subjected to the enemy's wishes. The enemy cannot put you where they want. The enemy cannot subject you to what they want to see because as far as you have that name, you decide what you want to see. That name is an enemy of affliction. Scripture says, Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him from them all. Permit me to say that Satan attacks both the wicked and the righteous. Why? He knows that uh, the righteous is a concern to him, so he will do everything possible to frustrate to depress, to oppress, to persecute, to put him in bondage. But hear me, you don't allow satanic manipulation to determine your mood. They can oppress you, but you don't allow it to determine your mood. Your mood is very, very important. If you carry a moody face, you will have a moody heart. If you carry a moody heart, you are a dry spirit. You cannot be able to prevail in the realm of the spirit. And much more importantly, Satan knows how to organize condemnation for you and make you believe that what you are going through, you deserve it. So he knows how to sponsor attacks on our mind, put bondage in our hearts, Subject you to perpetual fear. 
can even be telling you, you will die. You will die. You will die. But if you have understanding, he that is born of the flesh is flesh. He that is born of the spirit is spirit. It is written concerning me, I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. He said, the number of my days it shall fulfill. Every program for me, marked out by the wicked, they are destroyed. So you need an understanding of the name so that you can diffuse whatever is contrary to God's plan and purpose for your life. No wonder the enemy can use different means to attack you and make sure that you are loaded with worry. No wonder at times you have people say, Lord, are you still there? Are you still answering prayer? Very well. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? God is still there. No matter what is happening, he's still, he's still the unchangeable God. Are you hearing me? He's still the unchangeable God. I like you to understand that depression weakens our capacity to resist the devil. You can't be depressed and have potency to resist the devil. Depression weakens your capacity for resistance. Scripture says, resist the devil and he will flee. But not when you are depressed. You need courage and boldness to alter every plan of hell. So you need courage. Say with me, courage. Arrows are flying by day. Arrows of affliction. But scripture says, it shall not come near you. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Ten thousand at the right time. But you will only hear with your ear the destruction of the wicked. I give you a mouth and a wisdom that your adversary will not be able to resist nor gain say. Hear me? If your mouth is not open, God has nothing to confirm. Your exemption is confirmed by your declaration. Your exemption is confirmed by your declaration. I will do the very thing that I hear you say. Say it first. Let God confirm it. If you have nothing to say, God has nothing to confirm. That name also destroys opposition. There are oppositions. And when the enemy wants to make sure that they have affect you all around, they will oppose you from all fronts. From all fronts. Permit me to say this. They don't go to look for outsiders. They look for insiders. Let's read scripture. Psalm 118. We'll read from verse 10. Psalm 118 from verse 10. All nations come past me about. But what? Will I do what? <laughs> they come past me about. Yeah! They come past me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will do what? Destroy them. So the name of the Lord is time bomb. Wherever they are planning for me, in the name of Jesus, let them scatter beyond recovery. You must say it. Don't say amen for me. I'm saying my own. Look at the next verse. They compass me about like bees. Who has seen bees before? Be sincere. If you have seen bees before, I'm not guessing now. If you have seen bees, okay, put your hand down. Which of you here has bee pursue before? You know, you know what it means for bee to pursue somebody. 
They compass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of tongues. For in the name of the Lord, I will do what? So the day that name is cast in your mouth, you are in trouble. That name must never be cast in your mouth. They compass me about like bees. You know, there are stubborn bees. When you run enter the house, they will hang on the door and say, oh, will they wait for you? <laughs> I've seen that time. Will they wait for you? When you come out, we will follow you. They will even be looking for any hole to enter through the ceiling. <laughs> Let's finish it now. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. Hear me and hear me well. There are people working desperately to see how you will go down. <laughs> when men are saying there is a casting down, That glory and the lifter of my head. That glory and the lifter of my head. For thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. That glory and the lifter of my head. Do you know that song? Every time you call upon the name of the Lord, he lifts you up. Sickness can lie you low, but the name can raise you high. Let's look at another scripture. Psalm 35. That one is a fiery psalm. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of sheed and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out also Spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and be put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my heart. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. You are not saying amen. Yeah. Let their way be dark and slippery. Yeah. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Yeah. For without cause. Pause. By my privileged understanding of this assignment, I've discovered that people that fight you most are people that don't have anything to do with you. You have not shared any contract with them. You have not collected anybody's wife. You have not collected anybody's entitlement. For without cause, put that scripture back. They hid from me their net in a pit. Which without a cause, they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unaware. And let his net that he has hid catch himself. Into their very destruction. Hear me? I like the way Kenneth Copeland puts it. He said, You are the first prophet of your life. Every day, be releasing it. Bishop Abiyo said, whatever you want to see, release it to the air. Release it. The destruction they want to see for me, oh no, let it be their portion. You have put trouble for them. Oh. So the name destroys it's a fighting name. And you know the amazing thing? Anytime that name is released, angels are put to work. And angels don't just go anyhow. They respond to the authority and potency of the name. 
Now, even bees know when you are afraid. Yes, they know when you are afraid. Likewise, angels know when you are calling the name in fear. They also know when you are calling the name in faith. So you don't watch the devil attack any issue of your life or your family. Papa said the best form of defense is offense. So you don't wait for them first. So the only way to silence the op opposition, the oppression of the enemy, the gang up of hell, is to keep speaking. I cannot be sick. No weapon. Form no fashion against me shall prosper. You have released something into the atmosphere. He said, declare now that thou mightest be justified. If you don't declare, you will not be justified. So the name of Jesus is to be valid till eternity. Every time you sense heaviness, you engage the name. You engage the name. Every time you feel a strange occurrence in and around you, in the name of Jesus. The name itself is a mystery. So there is nothing mysteriously mystified around you that the name cannot puncture. The only thing is that we have been using the name as a punctuation in prayer. It's not a punctuation. It's a bomb. Say with me, bomb. Bomb. Bua. Wherever they are calling my name for evil, in the name of Jesus, let them scatter. So every time you call the name, a presence appears. A presence appears. Names attract spirits. And when you call his name in such a dimension, he appears for you as the man of war. You say, I'm a man of peace, but when I speak, they are for war. So you have a name that guarantees your exemption. If your business is not moving well, your business is sick. Maybe they have done some f uh, fetish enchantment to see how the thing can die. In the name of Jesus, business move. In the name of Jesus, customer flow. Yes. Customer flow. Yes. Correct, correct ones. Please, if you are calling for customer, call correct customer. <laughs> because quality is different from quantity. Yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Yes. I'm not just looking for opportunity. I'm looking for mega relevant opportunity. Hallelujah. So if you are looking for opportunity, don't just look for any kind of opportunity. There are some opportunities that will come load upon your head. But there are opportunity, less stress, much gain. I like that one. My job is more of thinking job. So I want the one that will be giving me less stress, much gain. Even in banks, people that think more, they are the ones they pay more. Not people that are going for marketing. So am I lying? You don't know that in every bank they have thinkers. They are the ones that are strategizing the profit. It's not the ones that are going for marketing. Or the ones that are doing bulk teller. <laughs> are you hearing me now? There are people they pay where. That name is also An instrument for intervention. Now hear me. Every time you engage the name, it's not only his personality, his hand manifests. Say with me, his hand. So you can't call the name as no, and not witness his presence. His presence.
So every time you call the name, he appears in fullness. Scripture calls it the fullness of the Godhead bodily manifest together. The fullness. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So every time we call the name, he appears in person. My prayer for you, God will not be appearing in your life, on your matter, for your family, occasionally. He will be appearing regularly. Please say amen like a believer. So every time you engage the name, engage it with fierce resistance against every force of hell, against every fear. In Hear me? Calling the name. Are you getting me now? Is what makes your faith to produce. Yes, we read it from scripture, taking the shield of faith, whereby it shall be able to quench. Who is the quencher? Who is the quencher? When that name appeared for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, what happened? The fire that was designed to swallow them was swallowed up. Turned to a condition. My prayer for you, whatever has been designed to swallow you, that name will swallow it. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So you cry out against every plan of the enemy by engaging the name. Word of caution here. If you find a brother in a fault, pray for him. Why? If you talk about it and allow it to be an issue of discussion and allow the enemy to take advantage of him, you are next. Yes. You are what? Scripture says you that is spiritual. Help them that is what? One of my boys sent a message to me on Facebook the other day. Said, initially they say a problem shared is a problem solved. Now a problem shared is a topic for gossip. Some people now you share with them your problem. Eh? You don't hear. Dickiness, come here with your the hell. Dicky, have you had? Don't worry. Your own to go announce. Uh, it's not my turn now. You have announced, uh, you have shared other people's own. They will share your own too. So you that is strong, call the person. This thing you did is wrong. Help the person to stand. But rather, instead of helping the person stand, they help the person to fall away. I'd like us to understand this other dimension. Every time you call the name, you are clothed with a cover. Say with me, clothed with a cover. I remember one plane crash that took place, I think it should be in 1994 or thereabouts. One of our members was involved in that plane crash. His first, the first thing that came to his mind is, if Bishop were to be here, what would we do? <coughs> what would we do? And the Holy Ghost 
Just open him up to one scripture. Say with me one scripture. What was the scripture? I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I shall not die. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die. When the plane crashed, he found himself inside water. He didn't know what was holding him. He was there, oh, the, the local villagers came with a boat and carried him. He was trying to touch the thing. He didn't see anything. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die. You hear me? Calling that name goes with confidence. No wonder scripture says, make your boast in the Lord. Make your what? Boast in the Lord. Make your boast in the Lord. Make your boast in the name of the Lord. Make your boast in the name of the Lord. So the name answers for the visible and for the invisible. Whether invisible situation or invisible situation, the name answers. Why? In the name is the anointing. Songs of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 3. The name is an, as an ointment poured forth. The name goes with an anointing. Whatever your situation requires is the anointing that will be released. Every time you call the name, there is an oil that goes with the name. There is an oil that goes with the name. There is an ability that goes with the name. There is a power that is released with the name. So you don't use the name occasionally, you use the name consistently. You apply the name. When you are confronted with situation, you engage the name. You engage the name. You engage the name. Not occasionally. Whatever has been fired within my neighborhood. In the name of Jesus. Let the evil arrange my faith. Oh, you don't know? They can spread some forces around your neighborhood. Just to hypnotize you. And make you prayerless. Make you live in perpetual fear. Do you know that your fear can attract the evil you are afraid of? Your fear. That's why you need the name. You need the name as a defense, as an offense against the forces arrayed against you. And also you need the name for preservation. Psalm 91, we just read it. Let's read it again now. Psalm 91, let's take it from the beginning. He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall. But look at the other verse, He said, I will say. Say with me, I will say. If you say nothing, he will do nothing. Surely, he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feather and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side. And ten thousand at thy right hand. But he shall not come near thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord. Which is my refuge, even the most high, my habitation. There shall no evil, neither shall any plea come near thy dwelling. Say amen. amen. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Least thou dash thy foot against the stone. 
Thou shalt tread upon the lions and the adder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because thou hast set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. Because, that word because is very important. He has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. Have you known the name? Have you known the name? Because he has set his love upon me. Look at the next verse now. He shall call upon me. I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. He will call upon me and I will answer him. He will call upon me. But when he's calling you, you two should answer. Are you know what I'm saying now? Some people only call the name when they are in danger. When they are in trouble. When he calls you, answer to him. <laughs> it's in the Bible. I should show it to you. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 1 verse 23. Please open it. Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you. And I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and you refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But you have set at naught all my counsel and will none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a wild wind, when your distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they had hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They will none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat of the fruit of their own ways. But remember in the other scripture, it says, I will deliver him in all thy ways and be filled with their own devices. Man is a man of device. That was one that scripture said there is a way that he may try to turn to a man, but the end thereof is what? destruction. When, they, when I called, they didn't hear. So when they called, me too, I will not answer. May you not fall into that category. Amen. Divine exemption goes with condition and prescription. If you want me to exempt you, walk in my ways. If you want me to exempt you, increase your affection for his house. If God must exempt you, he said, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. The exemption plan of God is for people that walk in the ways of God. They have set at not all of my counsel. If I talk, they say, I'm a man of my own. I can make decision on my own. So when they cry to make decision on your own, Divine exception goes with rules. When God said, don't go there, don't go there. You know the amazing thing? Satan can suggest to you, is it not in the Bible? If we confess our sin, he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Meaning, go and sin and come back, he will still forgive you. That's one leg scripture. The other leg say, shall we continue in sin? That grace will abound. So you only have one leg. Balance the other leg. Are you hearing me now? Balance the other leg. And you know the funniest thing? You can even finish doing the sin and you appear in church. Somebody shout hallelujah. My curse is different. <laughs> Shall I tell you something? Angels know the people that their case is different. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So if you are calling the name, you call it with understanding. Because he fears my name. So will I deliver him. So engaging the name, it goes with condition. You must walk in my ways. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is what? Life and peace. He said for a long time, Israel was without a true God and without a teaching priest. <laughs> and everybody was doing his own thing. But hear me, God's exemption is to preserve you from devastation. God's exemption is to enable you to fulfill your days. Satan is setting trap every day. But it will not catch you. Amen. I say it will not catch you. Amen. If you are not exempted, how will you be preserved? If you are not exempted, how will you see the fullness of your years? You need this exemption plan so that you can see what God has ordained for your life. I said it in the beginning of the message. The name does not work for everybody. Unbelievers call the name, but they don't bear the name. No wonder the sons of Skiva said, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Pastor Tony, I know. Who are you? Who are you? I've seen a demonic person slap a pastor. They shut up there. Nobody they drink there. <laughs> you will remember. <laughs> I won't forget that pastor. After that, they entered into 21 days fasting. <laughs> for restitution and for cleansing. You hear me? You can't be doing corner corner evil and not be molested by wickedness. When you call that the name at that point in time, the name will fail you. Because the name does not recognize you. Are you hear what I'm saying now? In the realm of the spirit, we are recognized. We are recognized. You are either on his side completely, or you are not on his side at all. Your identity, number one, you must recognize that you are being redeemed by the blood. He has translated us from the kingdom of darkness unto the kingdom of his dear son, Jesus Christ. We are being redeemed. And by reason of redemption, you understand your placement. There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus for the laws of the spirit of life has set me free from the laws of sin and death. So you are free. Every time you call that name, you are exempted from shame, exempted from reproach, exempted from affliction, exempted from depression, exempted from frustration, exempted from untimely death, exempted from failure. Rise up to your feet. We are going to pray two massive prayer now with the name. That scripture said, they compass me round about. Means they are planned for me, but in the name of the Lord. So you are going to be releasing the name of the Lord against every plan, conspiracy, plot, design. So as you are releasing the name, every design plan of hell for you will not just scatter. They will be destroyed. Yeah. See now, see as your amen be. Yeah. You are going to use that name against any name called sickness. Scripture said, he has been given a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. In heaven, on earth, or beneath the earth. He has been given a name. He labored for that name. He works for the name. You can give yourself a name. 
You know, some people, when they want to give them cheated title, they tell them, I want to be Ochiro's or one. Or one. Igwe Kala one. Are you what I'm saying now? <laughs> he gave himself a name. So when you call him Onwa, 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 he will bring small change from his pocket. <laughs> that his name does not have backing. Are you what I'm saying now? Demons can give him stroke. Yes. I've seen plenty of them. One said that he's an Anya one. Demon gave him stroke. So, <laughs> so, when the demon gave him stroke now, and I, I said, give me his number, let me call Anya one one. Before you know what's happening, he just died for nothing. Jesus did not give himself a name. He was conferred a name. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name. In military, you don't give yourself a rank. When they give you the rank, they have given you your staff of power. He now said, in my name, you shall cast out devils. What things soever you desire, in my name. So wherever they have sponsored and powered your stagnation, it will crash today. The power sponsoring recurring sickness in your life, their altar will scatter today. Powers that have vowed that you will remain on the same spot, their base will crash today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. If you are not born again, you are not permitted to call the name with us. You can be in church and not be in touch. You can be in church and not be in Christ. For you to experience a total turnaround, you need to accept Jesus so that the name will work for you. You can't fake it. So wherever you are, all eyes closed. Before we start to pray, we have seven minutes to finish this prayer now. All eyes closed, all heads bow. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. If you are coming, come quickly. Pastors, carry the oil now. You are going to pray. Please put back that scripture, Psalm 118. You are going to be using that scripture to be praying now. We are going to pray twofold of prayers. If you are coming, come quickly. Put your hands together for Jesus. You are making the, the best of the best decision in life. You made that decision right now. Come quickly. That is the name that guarantees permanent exemption. Not temporary exemption. Permanent exemption. If you are joining him, join him. If you want to rededicate your life back to God, please come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. That change is what everyone desires. Leko shagara tozia, Mario duse, Leko prekete, Jesus eniata, Mekle prebi isosolati, Jiku kaketori asa, Shakura dialesa. Jesus, let your hand come upon them. In the name of Jesus, stay with me here. You are not going yet. You will join us in the prayer before you go. In Jesus' name, as the oil come upon you, you are going to pray. In the name of Jesus. Every plan, any power of affliction, every arrangement of hell, not this one, not this scripture. There was one scripture I called. Psalm 118 from verse 10. Are you there? Good. Every arrangement, 
every gang up, every plan formed against me, formed around me, network of wickedness, network of witchcraft, network of marine powers against my life. In the name of Jesus, let them scatter. Every attacking force from the pit of hell in the name of Jesus, I command them to scatter every witchcraft operation against my life, against my wife, against my children, against living future Jurefid. In the name of Jesus, let them scatter. Let them scatter. Any power sponsoring affliction. Recurring sickness. In the name of Jesus. Let them scatter. I command them to scatter. Peladus Sotanekus. Beze Ecoteria. Oppression of wicked men and wicked women. Against my glorious destiny. In the name of Jesus, let them scatter. Wherever wicked men and wicked women are gathering, tabling my matter, discussing my matter, in the name of Jesus, let them scatter. Lega de bush, zero ale kabash, ma zenaga ga 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 ga. Shali, desagada, banaba mi, wherever they have gathered, to plan my downfall, to plan shame, to plan reproach. In the name of Jesus, let them scatter. Every arrow of wickedness, arrow of affliction, arrow of failure, arrow of reproach, arrow of shame, fired against me. In the name of Jesus, scatter, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed. Negada a Zurua, a Penedos, a Nana, a Krutape, Bezuzu, Zekloperate, a Ragalato, Zeguragalagate, Radagagagagaga, Zekote Brediaga. Power of affliction. Power of sickness. In the name of Jesus, I command your destruction. Be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus, I command your destruction. Lego dos, regalegades, mesuzane, pelako, jakukakeka, preketeriata, inzuru te kolaka. Fire of God in the name of Jesus fall in the camp of my enemies. Wherever they are designing my heart in the name of Jesus, let them be destroyed. Every program plan of the enemy, wicked designers against my life, against my wife, against my children, against this church. In the name of Jesus, I command their destruction. I prophesy in the 
name of Jesus. They will fall and not recover. I prophesy. In the name of Jesus. They will be victims of their own evil plan. Pelado Sotana. Makeko. Reketeria. Zikukareta. Inzolodo. En ragada. Regologodogodogodo. Zekulaga ragada. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Scripture says, by a prophet, God brought Israel out. And by a prophet, were they preserved. Put your right hand on your head. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, amen. you are exempted. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are exempted. Every plan of hair marked out for you, they are aborted. Whoever marked you out for evil, I decree by the law of divine substitution, I withdraw your name, I replace their name. It is written, into their own very destruction, let them fall. Yeah. The destruction they have designed for you, whoever planned it, wherever they stay to plan it, let the arrangement backfire against them. Yeah. Because you bear the name of the Lord, you shall not be wasted. Yeah. Because you bear the name of the Lord, the arrangements of hell will not come to pass in your life. The arrangement of hell will not come to pass in your family. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Anyone program for untimely deaths, I decree, let your enemy die your death. Let the enemy go as a ransom for you. Whoever wants you to die, let the person die your death. Let the person go as an exchange. Say amen like a believer. By the power of exemption, I decree your intervention. I decree your rescue. In the name of the God of Oyedebo, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bring you out of every trap. I command your rescue from every arrangement of hell. You shall not die. You will fulfill your days. You will fulfill your days. You will fulfill your days. Whoever wants your blood to shed, whoever wants your blood to spill, let the person's own blood go for you. Say amen like a believer. Amen. I command confusion in the camp of your enemies. Amen. Let them begin to expose and kill themselves. Amen. Say amen. amen. So shall it be. Amen. Any affliction sponsored for you by any strong man, I speak to that affliction. Melt away in the name of Jesus. Be flushed out in the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. It is done. I say it is done. I say it is done. I say it is done. You will not die before your time. You will see your children's children. If it is happening at the back, you will be in front. If it is happening in front, you will be at the back. Any arrow fired against you through dream. Go and kill the center. In the name of Jesus. Any high priest they have hired to evoke your name before evil order. Thunder from heaven. In the name of Jesus. Kill the high priest and the sponsor. 
You will hear news this week. You will hear news this week. You will hear news this week. Whoever is taking your name to Coven altars, I decree the enchantment that was prepared for you by fire into the family of the person that fired it. In the name of Jesus. You will hear news this week. In the name of Jesus. You are exempted. Your family is exempted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Power that tied your manhood. In the name of Jesus, I command the evil court to be destroyed. Powers that tied your fallopian tube. In the name of Jesus, I command it to open. Powers that tied your hand for wealth. In the name of Jesus, the cord is broken. Any arrow of poverty, arrow of demotion, arrow of shame, arrow of reproach, fired against anyone here, be liberated. In the name of Jesus, be liberated. In the name of Jesus, be liberated. It is done. It is done. It is done. Wave your hands unto God and give him praise. Praise God. Do you have your thanksgiving offering? In the name of Jesus Christ. Take your seat for a minute as we close. I'm not expecting you to fail. Yes, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Yes, sir. Hear me? I'm a spirit. From that place, intervention will still be happening for you. Yeah, know it now. I've seen it work over and over. When you believe a prophet, God can use him to rescue you no matter where he is. They were to sack one of our members in uh, UBA. He said, I just appear. I said, leave him alone. His name is not included. That was how he was exempted. That was how he was exempted. He said, he can't understand. I said, you may not be able to understand. It's prophetic. Praise God. You are blessed. Amen. What has been deposited in you will only guarantee good fruits. Amen. Not shame. Amen. Not reproach. Amen. It will bring forth amazing testimonies. Amen. I'm not expecting you to be on the floor. I'm expecting you to head to the topmost top. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. This year you will end well. Amen. You will end with super abundance. Amen. You will end with amazing testimonies. Amen. You will end with amazing breakthroughs. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Second service commence in the next five minutes. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let the redeem of the Lord say so.